Hello there, and welcome to another AVS how-to video. Today, we're going to deploy HCX. Let's jump into some prereqs. First, make sure your AVS private cloud is deployed and you can get into vCenter. Next, if you have a firewall between your on-prem environment and Azure, make sure that the proper ports are open. Mostly, you will need TCP 443 and UDP 4500. Also, make sure that you have IPs available for the HCX VM we're going to deploy on-site. Our first step is to deploy HCX in the AVS private cloud. This is an automated process done in the Azure portal. Open your Azure VMware solution and go to Add-ons, and then click Get Started on the HCX Workload Mobility box. Accept the terms and conditions and click Enable and Deploy. This process automates the deployment of HCX in your private cloud. It can take anywhere between 30 minutes and one hour. Once that has been completed, let's log into vCenter by grabbing the IP address under the Identity tab. Remember that your credentials for vCenter are on that same screen. Once you are logged into vCenter, click on the menu and click on HCX. Now go to Administration. Here we must wait for the request download link to turn blue. Be patient, this can take close to three to four minutes. If you waited that long and you still don't see it populate, you can go directly into the HCX interface by grabbing the IP address from the add-ons menu. Your login will be the same as your vCenter credentials. Once you are logged in, click on System Updates and you will see the same type of screen. Once the button turns blue, you can copy the hyperlink or download the OVA. Once the OVA is downloaded, we can log into our on-premise vCenter and deploy the HCX connector. Right-click on the host or cluster you want to deploy it to. Choose Deploy OVF Template. Select the file that you just downloaded and continue deploying the appliance. Give it a name, confirm the compute resource, accept the licensing agreement, select storage location, and configure the networking details. Typically, most people will put HCX on the network you have other VMware management tools. Complete the customization template page. Note that you do not need to fill out the static route section. Once the VM has been deployed, locate it and power it on. Give the VM time as it has a number of services it needs to start. Once it's fully powered on, go to port 9443 of the IP address you gave it during deployment and log in with the credentials you configured. Now we need to activate HCX. To do this, we need to go back into our Azure portal and go under the HCX and add-ons. Add an HCX key by clicking add and give the key a name. Take that key and plug it into the HCX license key section of your HCX connector and click activate. Now give the location of the data center and confirm the system name. Now we need to give HCX our vCenter credentials to complete our setup. Once you have given the credentials, you will be asked to reboot the appliance. Select yes and give the appliance time to reboot. Once that has finished, log out of your vCenter session and log back in. You should see the HCX plugin under the menu of your vCenter. Now you're ready to create a site pairing and service mesh. One last tip I'd like to leave you with, if you get errors when you pull up the HCX plugin, it could be because your user you're logged in with does not have proper permissions for HCX. You can log in with the administrator at vSphere.local account or you can review the best practices guide that walks you through adding permissions with AD authentication. That completes our walkthrough. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more AVS how-to videos.